All right, so we got the car in the shop. Um, Shane's already kind of looked at it. We've already found some things. Shane's pointed out a few things right away, but um, I don't know, like the ball joint in the, in the front here was, I don't know, it was out. I don't know if I was taking it out or if I just never put it back in or what, but like I said, this car's been sitting in the shop since July, so. But at least it's the, you know, I'm getting a head start on it more than I did last year. Last year, I didn't, I didn't even get this car and start working on it till, I don't know, first of March, I think. So I basically, you know, hustled it together and threw it together. But um, so this is, a, I mean, it's good now. I don't have an engine yet. Um, Joey's still working on the engine, so we'll have it later. Don't need it right now. So I just, this is a good time to kind of focus on this car and really go through it and get it in order. Um, because without this car and this chassis working, you know, nothing's gonna work, so. But I, and the car should, I mean, it's got a lot left in it, so. It's a lot better than what it was, the couple races I ran last season with it, so. But I'm gonna keep working on it. We're gonna set up plates out, just square everything back up, just look over everything. Um, the shock, the left rear shock needs some work. It, it is, I don't know, the height's just wrong on it, so we need to fix that too, but. We're gonna get working on it. Uh, I'm gonna take you along and just kind of show you. I don't have a lot of money throwing this thing, so this is gonna be kind of how to get your car ready for the season on a budget. But um, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I finally got a plan together on this car. A um, couple things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna basically just put the whole four link suspension back under it. I'm gonna. I was gonna have to cut the right side, the uh, the bird cage off because it wasn't lined up right. And I just thought. I mean, I got the bird cage. I got everything to put it back. So um, I might as well just put it back. <laughs> just make it right. So the other thing was the pan hard bar is a little short. So it needs a new pan hard bar. But I think overall, I mean, the car was originally A mod. Somebody has switched it to a B mod. But I think it should, everything looks better as an A mod to me. So I'm kind of, you know, the more I work on it, the better I'm starting to like the car. So it hopefully. Should work out fine. The other thing is the body, the deck. The rake is wrong on it. I think you can see right there. There's, there's basically basically an inch of rake from the, you know, behind the driver's seat to the rear, you know, where the spoiler is. So you can have four inches. I got an inch. So that's not good. I'm going to basically push that down, um, make that deck right. So I'm probably going to pull the deck off. Probably gonna get a new body on it or, you know, some sides. So, um, well, I wanna at least fix it so that the height's right. Well, so far, just using these plates, I've been able to find out a few things on the car. Um, number one, the left, uh, the car is a lot more square than I thought it was. So, that's kind of good and kind of bad. I'm looking for something, but I did find, found something with the rear end. The rear end's bent a quarter inch on the right side, which kind of makes sense. So I think that's what it is. I've been using the setup plates and those help a lot and Shane's just helped me use those. I've never used them before, so um, but it's helped a lot just get the tires out of the way and we don't see what's kind of going on with the car. But there's a few things on the right side on the rear suspension. Um, I guess the car is not as bad as I was kind of hoping or <laughs> expecting. So um, I guess I just kind of guess a lot of it when I put it to, you know, put that four link on the left side and kind of put it back together and I did it in a hurry too so um but the left side's lined up pretty good um the rear end is square underneath the car as far as I mean I think there's an eighth inch right side lead um which is what I put in it because I got a lot of bar angle but with a quarter inch you know with the rear end being bent a quarter inch that's gonna that's gonna throw it off so um hopefully that's what it is but I'm gonna try to get that fixed. And um, kind of look at a few other things. I'm just trying to get a plan together for what I'm gonna do with this car for next season on a budget. So I was wrong. I was wrong on the car. Um, I just watched a video last night with Bob Harris that I used to work for um, 20 years ago. I don't know, maybe was over 20 years ago. But. Um, Here's just talking about how we, how we used to straighten the cars up and square our cars, you know, back in the 90s. And I think it just kind of clicked. Or I remember it or something, but I came in, I just kind of restrung the car, looked at everything, and the car was exactly 
like Shane was telling me here, it's the, the rear end is shoved to the left two inches, for approximately two inches, and there is definitely some right side lead in the car. The rear end straight, it's not bent, <laughs> which is good. So, but the pan hard bar is too short in that car. Um, it is adjusted all the way out and there's still, it needs to go almost another two inches. So I need a longer pan hard bar, so I'm gonna get that. Um, also getting a brake floater for the left rear, just to update that. So, like I said, it's kind of went old school, the way we used to string them up, but finally found, and Shane was telling me the same thing, the, the way to square it up off the frame rail and the rear frame where the trailing arms connect is usually square. So it just took me a while to kind of figure out what I was doing, basically. But I finally did. Um, everything looks exactly the way I was thinking by the way the car drove. Um, that car should not be turning and just the way everything looks under the car so um and I, I did get the rear end a little off i think when i put the four link underneath it so could update all that get it going get the body fixed and um probably a good thing maybe that the car i didn't get erased much last season so i could actually go through it and fix everything on it so maybe maybe it'll work out for the best but i got a new engine being built joey davis is building a new motor so I think Joey, the elusive competition engines, is one of the best A mod builders in the country. So I'm pretty, pretty happy and looking forward to getting that engine. But um, I want to get started on it and see how it goes and um, see how long it takes me. <laughs> but um, at least I got a plan together. That's the main thing. Get a plan. So get started and got a couple months to get it finished. So here we go.